video, but this is a story where I'm only going to tell part of it, and part of it needs to be acted out, and I'm going to need some actors to do this. Yes, you can be an actor. You're, you're going to be the bad guy, or you're, you're, you're going to be the chief bad guy, okay? You're going to be a robber, and I need at least two more robbers to go with you. Okay, robbers? Okay, come with me. Robbers, hide behind the electric piano over here. Okay, now I need someone who's going to get fake beat up. Not, not really beat up. Um, are you, are you, you can be fake beat up? Okay, so you, can, you go, come over here. Sure, all right, I'll be beat up. Um, and I need somebody who's going to be an innkeeper. Actually, there can be several innkeepers. Well, well, actually, two innkeepers. Who wants to be an innkeeper? I need two of them. Come on, guys. I need two innkeepers. You're going to be right here. This is the inn over here. So sta- stand over here. And then there's one person left who's the hero of the story. So I need two innkeepers and a hero. How are we going to do this? Do you, you, want, to be, you want to just be robbers? You want to be robbers? Go join, the, jo- go join the robbers. I also need, um, I need a, someone who's like the, the chair of the board. Eleanor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to need Eleanor for this. Yeah, so come on up here. Come on, sit in the front. And I'm going to need a minister. No, no, Linda. <laughs> Linda's in this. Because I, I have to do all the talking. Okay, so the story is, Jesus was, was, in, was, in a, was in a big public place and he was teaching and telling people about God's love. You, you, you can just sit with Eleanor for now, Linda, thanks. And, and a scholar of religion came up to Jesus and said, So, teacher, what do I got to do to get into heaven? Or what do I got to do to enjoy eternal life? And... And Jesus said, well, you know this stuff. You're a teacher of, the, of, of religion. What does it say in, in, God's, in God's book? And the teacher said, well, it says in the book, you've got to love the Lord your God with all your passion and your prayer and muscle and intelligence. And that you, have, you love your neighbor as well as you love yourself. And Jesus says, good answer. So go do that. And uh, the teacher well, teachers and lawyers, you know, they, they always got to put a fine point on things. So the, he says, uh, so how do you define neighbor? In other words, who exactly is my neighbor? Jesus answered by telling the story that we're going to act out. Hopefully I got all the characters. So you're the one who agreed to be beat up? Fake beat up? Okay. So there was this person Walking along, walking along from Jerusalem to Jericho. And just trying to get there and trying to get there safe. And all of a sudden, robbers came out. And beat, 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 beat. Yep. And then, and then took, took, all, took all their stuff, all their money, and then ran away. We go run away. And your job now is to lay, lay there bleeding on the road. No, bleed more. <laughs> okay, you're doing okay. And, and what's going to happen now in the middle of a deserted road? Nobody around to help. And what happens? The chair of, the, the chair of a church board walks by. <laughs> and you'd think somebody who goes to church would get involved and help. But she says, no, I can't get my hands dirty. Got, I'm too busy. I can't get into that. I got to get ready for the turkey supper. And then, and then the minister comes by, and you think, oh, the minister's supposed to be a good person, right? And she says, no, 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 i got to get ready for my next sermon. Way too busy. And then the hero comes by. Now, what you need to know about the hero is that the hero came from a part of the Middle East called Samaria. And the hero is from a tribe that doesn't get along with Jewish people. So you're Jewish, you're a Samarian, a Samaritan. And you walk along and you see this person who you can tell by the way they're dressed is Jewish. But you don't care about them being Jewish. You think, oh, they're hurt. And they're, you're doing a good job bleeding. Good job. They're, they're hurt and they're bleeding. So you say, I want to help this person. So you help them up. Help them get up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Help her get up. She's only halfway up. And you take her to the inn. These guys are the innkeepers. And, and, and you give them 50 bucks. Okay? And, and, you, and, and what you told them was, take care of this person, and if you need more money when I come back next week, I'll, I'll pay some more. Good job. Everyone's done great. So, so the punchline is, and this is what Jesus said to, to that teacher, so who acted like a neighbor? Was it the chair of the board? Was it that minister? Who acted like a neighbor? The, the one who helped. The hero in the story. Yeah. So I want to sh- uh, go, go sit where you can see a screen because I want to show you a video that is all about how we help each other. Okay? And what, what I want you to notice when we watch this video is how often, how often these kids help each other. Isn't that good? Yeah. You know what else would be good? If you go to Sunday school. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, the offering. Okay, forget it. Okay, okay. Skyler's now in charge. Yeah. What should we do now? We should do the offering. 
Good idea. It's not time for Sunday school. What was I talking about? I had it all wrong. <laughs>